Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my room tour for 2014. I haven't been done one for quite a long time. And if you had seen my old desk, you probably would have laughed and maybe cringed. And uh, it would have just been a whole big embarrassment. Um, but, <laughs> but anyways, I spent probably less than $200 on a setup. I got all the desk stuff from Ikea. And um, actually, the quality of it isn't bad for what the cost was. So, um, I'm pretty happy. But anyways, let's take a closer look and see what I got going on here. On the floor to the left of my desk is a trash can. Yay. You had to have one. And above that is just my camera bag. That's a little Pro flip side 300. And on my desk in front of me down there is my Nokia Lumia 521. Anyways, that's my utensils. And for my speakers, they are a M-Audio AV40. Um, for the screens here, those are a Dell 22 inch Ultra Sharp. They're all right, but I am working on replacing those with a 27 inch 1440 um, IPS display. Now for the keyboard, that is a Logitech K310 washable keyboard. Um, I tend to spill some stuff every now and then, so why not make it washable? And to the right of that is obviously a mouse. Underneath that is a SteelSeries mouse pad. And of course I have my Fuji X20 camera. Yeah, I'll hang on top of my right screen is my Creative Labs Arvana headphones. Actually pretty damn nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> On top of my right hand speaker is a Giotis Rocket Air. I use that to clean out my lenses and camera bodies and all that good stuff. Just don't take it with you when you pass through TSA. That is a architect lamp. You had to have some lighting when you're working at night. And I got a Canon Cano scan that I use maybe six times a year. <laughs> uh, last time I did, I did not have room on my desk for a proper spot, so um, I usually kept it in this cardboard box. And if I did need to use it for some reason, I would have to pull it out and connect it to my computer. But now I don't have to because it's connected all the time. Now behind that is something I just recently bought. That is a Seagate 2 terabyte uh, USB 3.0 external hard drive. I'm going to use that to back up on my uh, pictures and videos. Oh, I did miss I did miss this. That is my uh, card reader. It, it is USB 3.0, so I don't have to wait too long when I'm transferring uh, photographs and uh, video files from my cameras. Now above me here is my Johnny Cash poster. You have to have one of that. I mean, it's iconic. He's given the finger. He's at Folsom Prison. And of course, I'm a big Johnny Cash fan as well. And to the left of that are some Adorama pics, uh, pictures I got printed. Now underneath my desk here, to the left side of it, is my Helmore file cabinet, or six drawer, chest of drawers, whatever the hell you want to call it. I got that from Ikea. That's about 40 bucks for that. It's all made out of steel. It was fairly easy to assemble. It took probably about a half hour. But if you ever assembled anything from Ikea, you know that there is no text whatsoever. It's all just diagrams and stick figures. But it was pretty simple. Anyways, let's take a look inside. It's just a drawer of remotes and barcode reader flash drives, cables, and blah blah blah. Underneath here is just supplies, it's got my gum, you have to have gum. And just paper clips and rock bands, 3M stuff, and staples, yeah yeah yeah. Underneath here is my photo and video stuff. I've got a tripod for my microphone, this is a clean cloth, hard drives, USB, card reader, chargers, batteries, you name it. Get it all in that drawer. Right here, just orders, stuff I got from Amazon and whatnot. 
down here it's just a random pile of crap and underneath here just all my manuals for all the things I have now let's take another right here that is my Fender Stratocaster and for my amp I'm using a Fender 212R uh, for my chair here this is the they call it the Space Seating um, Office Manager Professional Model 5700. <laughs> um, for the price, I paid about 160 bucks for it on Amazon, and it is built really, really well. And most of it's all made out of steel or very super hard plastic. I did put rubber wheels on it because I do have hardened wood floors, and I don't want to scratch it up with plastic casters. Now, I'm sure most of you are wondering, where the hell did I get that LED lighting behind my desk? I bought that on Amazon from a place called LED Wholesales or something something, something like that. Um, I'm not sure exactly, but I can change the colors of it. I uh, paid about 30 bucks for about 17 feet reel of it, and um, it looks awesome, especially at night. I'm going to show you some of the settings. With the remote here. Now you have red, of course I'm using, you got green, green, and you have blue. Sorry, the, the IR thing there is underneath my desk, so I have to point it underneath my desk. And you got white color. And you can mix and match colors into it to make create a custom unique color. Or you can do an auto mode and allow it to just go through all, all the settings. Or you can do a flash mode. Woohoo! Disco! I don't know. <laughs> or you can do a cool fade thing that fades. It's pretty freaking awesome. That was my desk tour for 2014. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I possibly can. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you guys next video. That's a low pro flip flip flip. Canon 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 Canon